Yo, what's up guys? Flockavelli here. Today I have some Black Ops 3 gameplay going on in the background. Obviously I'm playing on Nuketown and I go about 49 and 30 with the Razorback and uh, you'll see me get close to my streaks a lot in this game and it was so bad. I kept getting really close to my hater, you know, like the advanced UAV and uh, I get killed like one off of it a lot during this gameplay. I just really feel like the score streaks are harder to get in this game than previous CODs but I'll save that topic for the next video that comes out. So today I want to talk about a topic, you know, real short and sweet. I want to talk about teamwork. When I say teamwork, I'm talking about FPS games, MMO, RPG, you know, those games that really involve teamwork. Even though Call of Duty public matches isn't looked at as teamwork, you can still hop on with teams and your friends and try to be a team. But you know, for this video, we're just going to be looking at specifically the game franchise Battlefield. So I'm talking about Battlefield 3 and Battlefield 4. And this is sort of a controversial topic because a lot of people have different definitions of teamwork. And yeah, it's going to be a pretty controversial video on teamwork because when it comes to gaming, there's really different perspectives on it. But I'm going to take my perspective and I'm going to tell you guys what I feel is a good teammate. So when people hear the word teammates on Battlefield, they usually think of, you know, supporting their teammates by getting their back, protecting their sides, or throwing down ammo boxes and health pack, avenging their death, which, you know, really isn't teamwork if you ask me because they're already dead, and also reviving people, using callouts, and, you know, just general stuff like that. So what I think makes a good teammate, number one, teammate is always watching over a squad while staying focused on the objective at the same time and being aware for their own sake of their own lives. Number two, setting up routes or plans to capture the objectives and use them effectively to their own advantage. Number three, you have to have respect for your team. You can't have a good squad if you don't respect them or if you don't want them there. Things are just gonna go wrong and there's gonna be feuds between the team and you just don't want that. So you just wanna make sure that you guys are all good and that you all have respect for each other. Number four, you need to be able to take the game seriously. So that means no goofing around or trying to find glitches or Easter eggs or just going off and doing your own thing. You need to make sure you take the game seriously as if it is real life. And that sounds really corny and that sounds really dumb, but when you're playing serious with the team, you really need to take it seriously and and yeah, I, don't, I, I keep saying serious a lot, but yeah. And for the final point, you guys just need to make sure that you stay on task and make sure that there's not that one dumb teammate that's just fooling around. So this goes back to the other point I just made. You guys need to make sure you stay on task, follow each other, just outright listen to each other. So that means making a plan, like I said earlier. But everything just ties in together perfectly. And um, yeah, some people think that teamwork is just throwing down ammo or health packs when technically you're helping the team, but it really sometimes makes you look like you're just doing it for the points. And I'm not saying that everyone that throws down health or ammo only does it for the points, but I mean, come on, we've all been there if you play Battlefield 4 or Battlefield 3. If you've ever played Operation Locker on Battlefield 4, then you'll know what I'm talking about. There's usually a doorway where a lot of people sit near one of the enemy spawns where both of the teams will just battle it out and people are just dying left and right and you think to yourself that this is a good time to take advantage of that so you can get more points or level up your gun xp or you can just put down an ammo box or a health box and you'll start getting a bunch of points when that's not a good team perspective that's not a good way to look at it you should be thinking to yourself i need to provide these people and put them down ammo so that they can get the heck out of there let's go flank around or you know create a plan or something like that when not just thinking about the points but this is just what i think is my definition of teamwork and how i look at it let me know what you guys think about teamwork and how you guys look at it what's your perspective but yeah thank you guys so much for watching today's video if you guys did enjoy please click the like button below subscribe if you're new all that stuff and um yeah i'll see you guys in the next video which is going to be out this saturday i'll be talking about my uh, force awakens experience because i'm going to go see it which is in two days on friday i'm going to go see it with my friends right after school but um yeah so see you guys on saturday's video peace out It speaks for itself.